Hi, it's me, Matt from Tubby Tarot again. Today I want to take you through all my Lenormand decks, and I have got quite a lot. I've divided my collection into two sections. One is the historical Lenormands. Um, that means that they are the cards that look very similar to the ones that were used um, in, throughout history. And the other ones that I've got are my modern ones, or the ones that are not... Um, they differ from the norm in, in some way. All right, so let's start with the non-traditional um, Lenormand decks. And the first one I want to show you is a little, de a little deck. It comes in a little box like this. It's called the Mystical Lenormand. Tiny. You do know that Lenormand cards are much smaller than tarot or oracle cards. Most of them. This is a really cute little deck. Very cheap. Okay, I've edged mine in a, in a metallic blue. That's the back. And they're very pretty. They are kind of almost medieval in a way. And I love the fact that they've got these little sort of window cutouts. Okay. Um, this deck does not have any extra cards. There are some decks in this collection that actually do have extra cards. But unfortunately, this one doesn't. There's the gentleman and the lady. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. It's got this sort of medieval, as I say, this medieval kind of feel to it. Okay. The Mystical Lenormand. Lovely deck. Next up, we have the Dreaming Way Lenormand. Now, um, they've just brought out a Dreaming Way tarot deck, but I'm not going to get it because it's very similar to this. I've edged mine in a metallic pink, and that's the... Oh, that's not the back. <laughs> oh, my word. Um, I've got this deck half, half upside down. There we go. That's the back of the deck. I'm so sorry. That's the back of the deck. Okay, very interesting back. Um... It is called the Dreaming Way Lenormand, and it's, it's got some really interesting stuff like the, the rider is facing backwards, and, um, you know, you can just see, you see I've used this deck quite a bit. It's very, it's very modern. I love that bear. Uh, it's a very modern take on the Lenormand, and yet it's still perfectly readable, especially at a distance. If you lay this out on a grand tableau, it's very, very, um, it's very readable. Okay, so that is the Dreaming Way Lenormand. It also comes in this really nice box. Okay, Dreaming Way Lenormand. Let's put him over there. Okay, next one is one that everybody knows. It is the Under the Roses Lenormand. And it comes in a little tuck box like this. Okay, what's gorgeous about this is that when you put it out, it's super, super easy to, to see what it is. It's got the picture, it's got the number, and it's got this here, this little tells you what it is and then you've got the the suit connection there okay the nice thing about this as well is that it comes with a couple of extra cards and I'll show you okay I use this for my gay men when I read for them so I've got the two male cards in here um, I just want to show you it comes with a little white book but they also give you two female cards which I've taken out because this is the the deck that I use when I do my gay, ma gay male readings Okay, um, so you do have a, a nice choice there. Okay, very, very famous. Um, that's the back, gorgeous back. Very well-known and famous um, Lenormand deck, Under the Roses Lenormand. Okay, what can I show you next? Let's have a look at something that I find beautiful and interesting. This is called the Rana George Lenormand. Now, I've edged my cards in this metallic blue, and I want to just show you first how it comes. It comes in a box, with an, it's quite a big box. And the cards are, they come in two little sections like that, okay? But these cards are gorgeous. They're the size of a normal Lenormand deck, but they really are pretty. I want to, I want to try and get really up and close and personal. Look at the gold, the gold detailing in these cards. And each one has it. Each one has a gold detail, okay? And if you have a look at the, um, the playing card, um, Correspondences, they are actually these sort of oriental Arabic um, playing cards. And they are gorgeous. This is another deck that's very easy to read with. Once you, once you put it out, if you lay this out in a grand tableau, it's a very easy deck to actually read with. And that's what it looks like when you've got all your cards in. There's the little book and boom. It's got a nice little magnetic thing there. Okay, quite a big, quite a big box, but normal the Norman size cards. The same goes for this. This is such a cool deck. There are, there are so many. It's called the Maybe Lenormand. Okay. Now, this is exactly the same thing. It's got two little places for your, your cards. And these cards are incredibly, incredibly easy to read. 
They're very, very um, simple. It's probably the most simple deck I have. This um, and, and one more. These are the most simple cards I have. The nice thing about this deck is that it has tons and tons of extra cards. In fact, I don't even know how many extra cards it has. It's got all these extra cards, which are explained in the booklet. Um, I don't think I've edged this deck yet. Um, and the reason I got this deck was because of the booklet. It's such an amazing little booklet. If you don't know how to read Lenormand, or if you don't know anything about Lenormand, this is the deck to start with. It's called the Maybe Lenormand. Fantastic deck. Okay, next I have a huge box. This is the Enchanted Lenormand, okay. Now this box is very funny because it's massive. And it pulls out like a drawer. But... Look at the little cards. They're tiny. They're minute. That's the back of the cards. So you have this monstrous box of these tiny little cards and this big book. The book is really cool, though, because it's in color. This deck also comes with extra cards, okay? Um, and, in fact, it, it also comes with an extra, extra card, which is the, um, the tarot reader itself. Let me try to get that clear. There we go. It comes with two... Gent cards and two lady cards. Now, I've taken the gent cards out of this because this is what I use for my gay ladies. This is what I use when I, when I do readings for my lesbian couples. So I've got two ladies in here. Where are they? I'll show you. They're super cool. Oh, I love the little mice. Look at the mice. God, I know this is not a review, but I really want to show you the ladies' cards. <laughs> Look here. So when my lesbian couples come in, I can do a beautiful reading for them with this with this deck. It's got a lovely feminine energy as well. So I'm very fond of this deck. It's one that I use quite a bit. Um, I've edged mine in a brown. Look there. There they are. How cute is that? And then, of course, you have this massive book and this massive box. So that is the Enchanted Lenormand Oracle. Let's have a look at the Titania Fortune cards. When I bought this, I had no idea what this was. I didn't even, I'd never ever heard of Lenormand. It's one of the very first decks I ever bought. I've done it in a nice pink. You can't actually see. The back of the cards look like that. The box opens like that. The cards go in there. And this is the book. Unfortunately, the book is stuck inside the, uh, onto the box. So the book is actually the back cover. But it's a gorgeous little deck. And I'll show you why. It's, it's ultra, ultra clever. It's got nothing but the little picture on the deck. And it all looks like, um, what do you call it, like x-rays. But you can see immediately what it is. It's such a clever deck. And this is also one that I use a lot. It reads so clearly and it's just such a funky deck. And I know that a lot of people, um, well, I did a review of this and a lot of people really, really liked the review. Um, it's called Titania's Fortune Cards. Okay, next up, again some extra cards. It's called the Healing Light Lenormand. Another big box, but this time the Lenormand cards are flipping huge. They're bigger than tarot cards. Now this type of Lenormand is really difficult to read because you could never do a grand tableau. You'd need a room. That's the back of the cards. I've edged mine in black, okay? Um, and this is what the cards look like. It's not a popular deck. This is not popular with people. I do use this for kind of a three-card spread. I could never do more than a five-card spread with this. It just takes too much space. I like the interesting um, combination of the actual Lenormand and the, the normal deck in here. And then, of course, it also it comes with, with um, two, set, two extra cards, or an extra uh, man and an extra woman. Okay, so it's a, it's a really unusual deck because it's so big um, and it's, it's, really un, it's really unusual because of the, the way that it's actually drawn. Okay, but it's a nice deck. I don't use it often. I just like having it in my collection. It's the Healing Light Lenormand by Christopher Butler. Okay, also comes in a lovely big thick box, by the way. Right, next up we have, oh, my Sarah Marchetti. Oh my God, I love this man's stuff. I've got so many of his decks. The Golden, oh, not the Golden, I'm so sorry, the Gilded Reverie Lenormand by Syra Marchetti. And this is the expanded edition, and the reason is that it has an extra man and, man and woman and an extra bird. Okay, can you see the extra man and woman and an extra bird card? That is the back of the cards. Beautiful, beautiful gold and red. The cards are gilded, 
beautifully gilded. It's that sticky gilding bow. Um, but these are really, really beautiful. It's a very, if you know any of the Syra Marchetti decks, you'll know exactly what to expect by the artwork. Gorgeous. That's the one male and that's the female. I just like boobies, so I um, <laughs> I chose that female. Also, it's, it's really, it, those two work so beautifully together. Um, so yeah, it's a, oh, this is just an amazing deck. I use this deck a lot simply because it is so, so beautiful. Syra Marchetti's Gilded Reverie Lenormand. Right, next up we have another very big Lenormand deck and this is the Fairy Lenormand. Now this is quite a difficult one to read with. I've edged mine in a, a sort of pink, but you can't see it in the, in the light. This is the back of the cards. Gorgeous. And you can see these cards are monstrous. Once again, these are huge cards. Um, it doesn't have any extra cards. It is a, it's a fairy deck, but it's, it tends to, like that is the road card. Um, okay, that's the dog. That's the bear. But these tend to have very, like... What is that? It's actually, the, I think it's the child card. Um, you see what I mean? It's, it's very busy. And that's not really what Lenormand's meant to be about. And Lenormand's meant to be like really, really simple. But they are very beautiful cards. And so I do have them in my collection. It is the Fairy Lenormand. Okay. Not a very popular deck, I'm afraid. Right, then another big deck. This is extremely beautiful. Comes in a nice hard box. The Art Nouveau Lenormand. That is the back. Gorgeous back. I've done mine in a soft pink. And these are truly stunning. They are big. Again, very big. But look at these, these amazing, amazing artwork. It's just that that's the child card. How utterly exquisite. I'm a huge fan of Art Nouveau. Um, I have quite a few Art Nouveau pieces in my house. And this just, when I saw this, I had to have it. It was like, no, I literally have to have that. Gorgeous, gorgeous deck, the Art Nouveau Le Normand. Okay, definitely one you should add to your collection because it's so beautiful. There we go. Oh, uh, let's just do all the big decks. This is the Golden Le Normand Oracle. Um, quite a popular one, I think. People, a lot of people know about this. That is the back, which I just think is so exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. And then, of course, this is the front of the card. And if you have a look, I'm trying to bring it up. It's got all these... The background is all these gold, glittery gold flecks on each one of the cards. Okay. Big cards again, but can you see those glittery gold? Now, of course, they won't glitter when I want them to glitter. But all those, <laughs> all those flecks are, are glittery flecks. Um, very, very historical. You can see the, the, the suit um, pictures are also quite historical, almost Spanish in a way. Uh, there's the dog card. Lovely card, lovely deck. Very big. Again, it's one that I, I, um, I haven't edged it. It's one of those that I would not use for, uh, I would never be able to do a grand tableau with this. Okay, let's do the last large deck that I have in my collection. And that is the Thelema Lenormand. This is quite a recent acquisition of mine. That's the back. Okay, pretty, pretty. This also comes in a nice, hard, sturdy box. This is by La Scarabella, by the way, and they've really... They have really upped their game with their boxes. It's another big deck. It says borderless, which I love. And it has this whole, I don't even know what this is. It's kind of like just this, the most beautiful, beautiful. I love that. It's just the most beautiful um, artwork. They also have a, um, a tarot deck out, which I... It meant two minds about getting, but now that when I when I looked at this deck, the artwork, and I thought, no, maybe I should actually get the the tarot. But this is a gorgeous deck. Um, again, I haven't got around to edging this one. It is a deck that I do use quite a bit. In fact, I use probably out of all my big decks, I use this the, the most. Very, it reads very very nicely. Okay, let's put that aside. Okay, now to a deck that I think a lot of people have got. It's another deck that's got a lot of extra cards, and that is. Ta da The Celtic Lenormand. Again, I love anything Celtic, druidy, pagan, love it. Um, I've edged mine in a brown. That is what the back looks like. It's very simple. Nice normal size. Gorgeous box. Um, really, really nice box by US Game Systems. And these are the, these are the cards. 
really, really cool. They, they lack Caltex cards. They have got, their, their images are quite different. Like that is the, um, what do you call it, the, the, the coffin. Okay, so some of the some of the images are very different to what we. That's the that's the uh, the the tower. Um, oh, no, I'm lying. That's the house. Sorry, that's the house. So some of these are very different. Um, there's the lady. There's the gentleman. Now I'm going to show you. You get extra cards. So you get quite a few. You get the extra snake. You get instead of the dog, you get a cat. Um, you get three bird. Where's the other bird one? You get three bird cards, you get the owls, you get the birdie birds, and then you get the chickens. But I thought the chickens, being a Caltech Lenormand, the chickens are all the ones I use because I think it fits. You get um, an extra man and uh, you get a female rider, okay? You get a female rider, I use the male rider. You get an extra child card, I just really don't like that card, it just looks hideous, okay? And then you get an extra, oops, you get an extra man and woman card. I just felt this was too Mongolian for a Caltech uh, thing. I like that, but I, I'd rather use the other one. And if you put them together, they kind of make a, like that. Okay, so load of, lots of extra cards, really nice deck, Caltech Lenormand. Right, the last two. These are Lenormand in a tin. This is the fairy tale Lenormand. Don't get it mixed up with the fairy Lenormand. This is a fairy tale Lenormand, comes in a tin, super cute, US game systems. That's the back. Normal and Norman size, and they are all the little fairy tales that you can think about. All, all linked to fairy tales, okay? Really stunning. It is a little bit difficult to see when you, when you set this all out in a grand uh, tableau. It is a little bit difficult, but um, yeah, it works, you know, it works for me. It's a very pretty deck. So definitely, it's, it's not very expensive, so definitely worth popping into your collection if you collect Lenormand. Fairy tale Lenormand, okay? And then lastly, I have also a very, very popular one, very well-known one, Pixie's Astounding Lenormand. Again, US Game Systems, lovely tin. That is the back of the cards. Now, surprise, surprise, these are actually um, all based on the Rider Waite, um, not so much the Rider Waite, but Pamela Coleman Smith's drawings. And um, you can see they've, they've taken bits. It's very Pamela Coleman Smith. Okay. It's her, it's her style completely. Um, but they've, they've translated it into a, um, a Lenormand deck. You can see there's all the motifs from, from the RWS. But they've just um, translated it into, I love that, Mice card. They've just translated it into a Lenormand card. Lovely little deck. I don't read with this as much as what I should. I haven't edged it yet. Um, but it's Pixie's Astounding Lenormand. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my non-traditional Lenormand decks. Right. I'm going to move now to my six what I call historical Lenormand decks. They are the more traditional decks. And I'm going to show you the very first traditional Lenormand deck that I actually ever bought. And it is it was printed in 1970, and it is an original Blue Owl, not a bluebird, Blue Owl deck, printed in 1970. And I love this because it actually has the picture, and then it has the little poem or the little saying that actually goes with each of these cards, which is very much like Madame Lenormand's um, original cards, apparently. So it's a lovely card. It's completely traditional. Uh, the artwork is totally traditional. Very 1800s. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Very, very chuffed with this deck. Unfortunately, with this deck, um, I had to buy this little box. I found this little box and um, it's actually a little cigarette box, but I want to show you the little cigarette box, um, but the cards fit in there very nice. It's a little faux leather cigarette box with a bit of tapestry on it, and the cards fit in beautifully. This is the little booklet that came with the cards. Let me show you. You can see it's completely stuffed. Okay, and um, if you have a look here, 1970, okay, printed in Switzerland. Very happy with this deck. It's a beautiful little deck, and I'm so proud to have it. Um, now, moving swiftly on to the Blue Bird Lenormand. This is slightly different. They are also um, 
It's the back. They're also uh, traditional, but they are not the same as the 1970s version. So again, it's got the blurb, but here it's got the picture, the name, the title, and it's got the uh, playing card correspondence. Very, very easy to read with. Hugely easy cards to read with. If you put this in a grand tableau, you know exactly that's the mountain. Um, you know exactly that's the ring. You can't get confused. That's the lady. Um, oh, I have two lady cards and two gent cards in here. Um, I'm not 100% sure why. I know there's a reason I've got the two guys and the two girls in here, but... <laughs> I'm not sure why. Okay, very nice. If you can get, if you want a, a traditional Lenormand deck, these are available and they are really, really stunning. They've got everything that you need on them. And they're pretty, they're pocket size, you can throw them in your bag. Okay, Bluebird Lenormand. Next up, um, this is called the Musruk, Alexandra Musruk um, Oracle, the Lenormand Oracle. And it's gilded. That's the back of the cards, okay, very busy. And then the cards are very, very simple. Look at that, gorgeous. They're, they're sort of pre-aged almost. Love the artwork, they, they're not glossy at all, they're completely matte, which just gives it an amazing feeling. Listen to the sound, listen. How gorgeous is that? There's the lady. There's the gentleman. Love the artwork. Love the artwork. Gorgeous. Oh, that's the, huh, that was the type of card. There he is, there he is. There's the dude that, that did this. Um, gorgeous deck, okay? Love this deck. And surprisingly enough, for such a cute deck, it comes in a really thick box. Uh, it's not very expensive at all. Really nice deck. Okay, um, and it's the Alexandra Musruk Le Normand Oracle. Okay. All right, let's have a look at something a little bit bigger. This is the Earl Lenormand. It's one of the earliest, this is a reproduction of one of the earliest Lenormand um, decks. Uh, das Spiel der Hoffnung. I think I pronounced that right. It's the Game of Hope. Now, that, they are bigger than a normal set. Um, that's the back. It's not gilded or anything, but these cards are really cool. They are also, you can see it's that whole, that very ancient kind of um, artwork. Really, really interesting. And because it's the German, it is a German deck, that it is slightly different. Okay. It is slightly different to what you would normally, what you would normally get. The correspondence cards. Love this. Absolutely love it. The only gripe I have is that the box doesn't open very easily. <laughs> That's the Earl de Normand. Okay. Um, second to last, I have my French Cartomancy uh, deck. Love this. It's an El Cheapy from uh, Los Carabao. And I love this. Look at the backs. They're gorgeous. I just like buying these cards for the back of the cards. <laughs> They're all so beautiful. Um, and this, again, is a very traditional deck. There's your man. There's your snake. Um, there's a rider, very traditional, done in a very traditional style. But again, it's got its own spin. You know, that's what I like about these. Yes, we know Lenormand cards are all exactly the same. It's all got a rider, it's all got the, the lilies, it's all got a mountain, it's all got the fish. But the artists do tend to, even with these um, historically uh, reprinted or reproduced decks, they do tend to have their own kind of signature look, you know. Anyway, that's the, uh, the French Cartomancy cards, very cheap on Amazon, definitely um, worth getting, if you, again, if you want a, a nice deck. Okay, and um, last but not least, I have old style Le Norman cards. Okay, this is a very new deck, but it's printed in an old style, and it comes with two extra man and woman cards. Okay. This is the back of the deck. It says old style Lenormand. Actually quite, I don't mind that. I actually quite like that. Um, and then, of course, you have the, the actual pictures. Again, lovely. Old, 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 but chocolate boxy, if you know what I mean. Anybody over the age of 40 will know what I mean when I say these pictures remind me of like the old fashioned chocolate boxes. Um, Lovely, wonderful artwork. Again, very traditional, but it has its own spin on things. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire Lenormand collection that I have at the moment. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I will be back with my final video of my collection in a little while. Until then, you know who I am. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot saying, I'll see you on the flip side.